Good evening and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a collab beer. This is a Unity and Elusive Brewing. Um, this is called Thinking with Portals. It is a black IPA at 7%, which is uh, fairly strong. Um, this is one that I got from Priest Town Brewing for £4.25, pence, which I think is a nice price for a 7%er. Um, I haven't done a Unity Brew in a, a while. I think I've only done one. I quite enjoyed it, from what I remember, so may as well do another. Cannot tends to be quite pastel art looking thing. It looks nice. Portals and wormholes and stuff like that. Looks cool. Um, it says on the back, a black IPA brewed with flaked and roasted spelt in collaboration with Elusive Brewing. Challenge perceptions. Find a new way of thinking and enjoy what comes next. I'm going to definitely try. So let's crack it open, shall we? And see what we've got. I have not had a black IPA in ages. I do mean it's been way before Christmas since I last had one. Alright, there we go. Pull the last little bit in a second. So we've got ourselves a pitch black beer with a tanned head? Yeah, like desert tan head. Um, no light getting through that at all. That looks really nice. Let's get a smell, shall we? It's sweet, um, but there is also the sort of savoury notes in there. You've got your roasted malts straight away. You've got grapefruit, you've got mango. Roasted coffee, dark chocolate. That smells really nice. Let's get a mouthful for the body and carb, shall we? That body is incredibly light. Not inc well, it's light. The carbonation is light medium, sort of right in the middle. I think that is nice so far. That's really nice so far. Let's get a big old taste. Cheers. I'll just put that there. That is packed full of flavour. It's really, really nice. You got your roasted malt, sort of like a Guinnessy malty flavour. Um, and then that's replaced with grapefruit, mangoes, passion fruit, sort of tropical, typical IPA fruits and styles. And then it goes back into the sort of savoury, bitter flavours. With dark chocolate, roasted coffee, and it finishes off with licorice, just not too much, but just a little bit of licorice. Gives it this sort of bittersweet finish. Um, it's got a nice dry, like I said, bittersweet finish to it. This is an incredible 7%, nice hidden. You can't tell. Looking at it, you'd think, Stout's drinking it, it it's a surprising stout IPA mix. I mean, that's I think that's kind of what a black IPA is meant to be, but it's really good. Black, they're not ones that I, I drink often. Um, Got to be in a particular mood for them, but this is definitely one that I'd go back for. So... Oh, it's just so good. That's dangerous, 7%. Not there. It's, you just can't tell. I could probably have a few of them and then start feeling it, obviously. But you just can't tell. So, Unity and Elusive Brewing. Um, thinking with Portals, a spelt black IPA. Out of 10, I'm going to give that a 9. Solid 9. That's so good. Happily, happily drink that again. On tap, in can, bottle, whatever. <coughs> Pardon me. I'd happily have that again. Um, so yeah, it's a nine. If you've had this, please let me know. Uh, let me know what you think. If you like it, if you don't. Oh, carbonation's coming. 
back up, pardon me. Um, if you've not had it, I'll leave the link to Unity and Elusive Bruin down below. Um, if they're not on the the death, they're still in Priest Town. Pick one up. Yeah, uh, pick one up. Um, like I say, four pound twenty five. I think is relatively good for a seven percenter. Um, if you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down, or like usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so because the show must go on, etc., etc., so on and so forth. And I'll see you later. Bye.